What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan and today we're going to be using my 3D printer to make parts for the Datsun 280Z. So stick around. Alright guys, so sorry about that cringy intro. We're doing something a little bit nerdy on the computer today, so I figured a superhero entrance was only appropriate. Um, but today I have a couple different parts that I'm making for the Datsun 280Z with my 3D printer. I'm only going to go through the process with you on one of those parts because it, it can be kind of complicated. And I'm hoping this video can maybe pique your interest to see if maybe you want to get into 3D printing or if it's something you might want to pick up as a hobby. I think 3D printing is an awesome hobby and it saved me a lot of money over and over, just some common utility stuff. So let's jump on over to my computer and check out how to make just one of the complicated pieces we're gonna be doing today. Today we're using Fusion 360, which is the software that I use for all of my 3D modeling when it comes to 3D printing. What's great is you can go online and get this for yourself for free if you're a hobbyist. So go ahead and Google Fusion 360 and get yourself a license. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace all of the letters and the lines that I need to make this form. And this is going to be a two-piece form. It's going to be the black portion behind the letters and as well as the silver part on top of the letters, the actual letters themselves. So you're going to see I'm going to trace all of the lines in this picture. Once I'm done tracing all of the lines, I'm going to create some circles. And these circles are basically going to create a way for these two pieces to fit together. So it'll make a little bit more sense in a few seconds, but basically I'm going to make a couple smaller circles and a couple bigger circles across the entire model. Once I'm done with these circles, I'm going to going to start extruding the model. So basically I'm going to use these 2D drawings and start pulling them into 3D space. First I'm going to pull out the black portion, which is the bottom portion of this logo. After that I'm going to select my larger circles and make some holes inside the black portion. And this is going to create holes for these two pieces to fit together. Next I'm going to work on the actual silver letters themselves. So I've pulled out the silver letters from that drawing and I've removed the, the internal parts of the letters. After that, I'm going to reselect the smaller circles and pull out the posts that are gonna fit into the sockets. And this is how our two piece logo is gonna fit together. Once you're done with the 3D model, you're gonna go ahead and put your model into a slicer. I use a program called Cura. And basically what Cura does is it slices the 3D model so that the 3D printer knows what each layer of plastic is supposed to look like. And once you set up your settings, you can look at a preview and see all the lines. And then we're ready to put this in the printer. And just like that, after a little bit of cleanup, just got to line up the holes. And there's our new logo. Turned out pretty good. Now that we've gone through the software and the printing side of things to make your own custom logo, the finished product turned out super, super awesome. And I am super excited with how this turned out. You'd never be able to guess that it was made from a 3D printer. And what's great about this is that a regular logo costs about $75. And this cost me about $1 in an afternoon on a 3D printer. Um, so what I'm gonna do is in the link in the description, I'm gonna put these designs on Thingiverse. And that way, if you have a 3D printer, you can go ahead and just print them off and put them on your car. So super stoked on that. I hope it helps you guys out. And then the other thing that I worked on that I didn't show you before was this sun visor clip. So basically I have a sun visor that keeps falling down into my field of view. So I wanted to make a clip that I could remove if I wanted to, but this is going to be a sleeve that goes over the sun visor. And this is going to be a little clip that goes into the headliner. And this is going to clip into here and it's going to help me keep the sun visor in place while I'm driving. So two great solutions, two great designs, and let's throw them on the car. All right, so the first problem that we're gonna to fix today is with my sun visor. So as you can see, my sun visor is beautifully upholstered, but it doesn't stay up. So it's always blinding my passenger and sometimes the driver's one does that as well. So I wanted to fix that and I took my little clip that I made and just slid it in the headliner. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that sleeve that I made and I'm gonna put the sleeve over 
the visor. Put it back into place and then there we go. Holds it up. So now my passenger won't be blinded and I'll make another one for this side and that way I can guarantee mine will stay up. But this just works really well. Just open it, close it. Awesome. Now we'll take our logo, flip it upside down, and then I'm just gonna use some 3M double-sided sticky tape, so nothing special. Now we'll just stick it on the car. What's great about 3D printing is that you can always just reprint stuff. So if you break it or you don't like the size of it, or if you wanna change it for any reason, you just go upstairs, plug in your printer, and you can just redo it. Nice and easy. I could have made this logo a little bit bigger if, um, because I have the bigger wing. With the bigger wing, this logo looks a little bit small, but I still think it looks good. And with all of this, I do wanna add a little disclaimer. All the parts that I made today are made out of ABS, which is a certain plastic that's more heat resistant than the standard PLA that you get with most starter 3D printers. It's a little bit more difficult to work with, but it's really not that bad, but make sure that if you do this, make your parts out of ABS. Also, I think 3D printing is a great addition to the car hobby. It saves me a lot of money with little brackets and a bunch of other little things that I might need. You can also print a bunch of stuff in your house, like little shelves and whatever you might need for decorating your home. I think it's a great hobby that goes along with cars and also it's just a lot of fun. It's not that expensive and it can take up a lot of your time, which when you're a hobbyist, maybe that's what you need. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed my, middle, my mini tutorial. If you did, go ahead and like the video, comment below and tell me what you think and subscribe to the channel. And guys, we'll see you next time. So thanks for watching. So was that intro cheesy or was it cool? <laughs>